LA Metro is pumping up the classical at one subway station, hoping the music can soothe the savage beast of crime that loiters around the station. Now, the plan was implemented at the Metro's Westlake District Station. It has seen a high level of illegal activity, including a fatal stabbing in January. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen live in the Westlake District for us tonight. Lauren. Well, Juan and Pat, you know, this is an area, a hotspot known for drug use, vandalism, and homeless people just hanging out here all day and all night. And riders are scared, ridership is down. And so Metro is taking this unique approach to try to take back this station. Blasting from every public address speaker, sounding like the Hollywood Bowl on a summer night, loud classical music for hours on end filling the platform at the Westlake MacArthur Park Station. I was thinking it was Christmas music, but I mean, it's a good icebreaker or a tension breaker. The blaring music, part of a new plan to discourage people from loitering and doing drugs or committing crimes. The music is appropriate for spending maybe five to ten minutes in the station and catching your train, not hanging out all day inside the station. We recently rode the train here. Our cameras caught riders openly using a man smoking pot, two others nearly passed out on the train. Metro recently released crime numbers that are shocking. The most serious crimes, rape, assault, robbery and murder are up 24 percent since 2021. Across the system, there were 21 deaths reported in 2022. There have been 21 deaths already in 2023 on Metro buses and trains. Riders tell Metro they're afraid. Ridership is way below where it was before the pandemic. Metro knows it has to do something. It's been a problem. It's a very dense urban environment. And I think with this pilot program, we're taking a fresh reimagined approach and trying some new things that we haven't done before in hopes of improving the situation for this station. Along with the classical music, there are other changes at the Westlake MacArthur Park stop, like Metro ambassadors, unarmed security with radios to summon police if crimes are going down. And there's more. Riders can now only enter and leave through the main entrance. Metro says there's more lighting and security cameras too. Riders say they're seeing a difference, but they're not sold on it yet. A more peaceful commute and a more pleasant commute and um, which for us, it's better, but for them, it's worse because there's no solution to their problem. And Metro tells me what they're doing here is working. The latest numbers they gave me just today, they said crime is down 20 percent since implementing this program at the end of January and the calls for graffiti and vandalism and cleanup down 50 percent. So what happens next? Well, the Metro is going to reevaluate this pilot program in the fall, see what works, what didn't work, and then decide if they want to implement this at other stations across the city. Pat and Juan, we'll send it back to you.